Okay, this is the second page of uh, the Trig Unit Test Review 1. Number 4, an object's position is given by 2 secant cubed t over 6 is, is continuous and differentiable in the domain uh, between 0 and 3 pi. And it says find the average velocity from 0 to 2 pi. So we're given uh, the position function and we're asked about the average velocity. Normally when you see velocity you're thinking you've got to find the derivative. Here this is asking for the average velocity, so think of this as average rate of change, um, meaning that we're just finding slope. Okay? We're not going to be dealing with anything um, regarding derivative. Okay? So if we want to find the slope between endpoints, then we just need to find the y values uh, at each corresponding x value. So we need to plug 0 into the original function. So secant of 0 um, is simply going to be 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. Uh, secant of uh, two, um, f of 2 pi. So plug 2 pi in for t. 2 pi over 6 is pi over 3. So secant of pi over 3. Uh, we know cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So secant of pi over 3 must be 2. 2 cubed is just going to be 8 times 2, which is 16. So the average velocity. It's just going to be the change in y over change in x. So 16 minus 2 over 2 pi minus 0, 14 over 2 pi, 7 over pi, and this is velocity. Uh, units of measurement will be meters per second. Okay, part B, at what, time in, well, at what point in time does the instantaneous velocity equal the average velocity from part A? So uh, the instantaneous velocity, this is dealing with um, the derivative. So we're going to set the derivative equal to the average velocity that we just found from part A. Okay. We don't have to solve, just have to set up. Uh, so to find the derivative, I'm going to first uh, take the uh, exponent, 3, pull it uh, outside uh, just to help give us a visual reminder that there's going to be chain rule involved. So 2 bracket secant t over 6 cubed. So we go through chain rule to find the derivative, bring down the 3, keep the original function, subtract 1 from the exponent, and then we multiply by the inside function's derivative. So secant of u, the derivative of secant of u is secant of u, tangent of u, times u prime. And u is t over 6, so, der so the derivative of t over 6 is simply 1 6. Um, if we clean this up, uh, the 6 and the 1 6 will cancel out secant squared and secant will combine to be secant cubed. So secant cubed um, tangent t over 6 and we set our instantaneous velocity equal to our average slope. Okay, that's our answer. Okay, part C, uh, what is instantaneous velocity of the object when t is equal to pi seconds? So we have uh, the velocity function which we found um, uh, after we applied the derivative secant cubed t over 6 tangent t over 6 what is the instantaneous velocity? If we want to find the instantaneous velocity, we just plug pi in for t, and then um, the derivative that's uh, value that is given back is simply just going to be the velocity. So we plug pi uh, in for t. Well, first, I'm going to uh, change everything to be in terms of sine and cosine here. So secant cubed becomes 1 over cosine cubed. Tangent is simply sine over cosine. And I'm going to rewrite my uh, derivative as sine of t over 6 over cosine to um, cosine t over 6 to the fourth. Okay. Now I want to evaluate my derivative, plug pi in for t, so sine of pi over 6 is simply 1 half, cosine of pi over 6 is simply root 3 over 2, but we have to square, we have to uh, raise this to the fourth power, so this will be um, square root of 3 to the fourth is 9, 2 to the fourth is 16. Um, if I want to divide a complex fraction, I can uh, move the 9 16 to the top by multiplying by its reciprocal, so 1 half times 16 over 9 um, will simply be 8 over 9 meters per second. Okay, part D, um, what is instantaneous velocity when t is equal to 2 pi seconds? So similar to part C, instead of plugging in pi, we're now plugging in 2 pi. So sine of 2 pi over 6 is just going to be sine of pi over 3, which is root 3 over 2. Cosine of 2 pi over 6 is the same thing as cosine of pi over 3. Cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. 1 half to the fourth is 1 16th. Uh, multiply by the reciprocal. Root 3 over 2 times 16 is 8 root 3 meters per second. Okay, part E, find the equation of the tangent line to the graph at t is equal to 2 pi. So we have the slope 
at 2 pi, we just need to find the ordered pair. Okay, so if I plug 2 pi into the original function, 2 secant of 2 pi over 6 cubed, um, 2 pi over 6 reduced to pi over 3, secant of pi over 3, same thing as cosine of pi over 3 in the denominator. Um, that's simply going to be 1 half, 1 half cubed is 1 eighth. Re uh, take the reciprocal of that, 2 times 8 is 16. So that's my ordered pair. My ordered pair is simply 2 pi and 16. My slope is 8 root 3, so I have my point, I have my slope. Plug into my point slope, y minus 16 equals 8 root 3 times x minus 2 pi.